Toyota have said that, you know what, electric cars are not the future, hydrogen is. However, Toyota did just reveal, what was it about six months ago, 21 different electric cars. Now these were all concept cars. Top Gear made a very misleading video saying that the next Toyota MR2 was electric, but actually there is no plans from Toyota to make an electric MR2. But we've just seen Toyota's most recent EV design. They've patented this design and it's been a bit controversial. I mean, this is the future of what Toyota's electric cars will look like. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Toyota, their EVs so far, to be honest, haven't been that good. That's the truth. They've received fairly lukewarm, some would say negative reviews. Um, Toyota have actually provided some improvements to the BZ4X, right? Their EV that they sell worldwide. They do have a BZ3 in China. It's manufactured primarily by BYD, used the BYD platform, used BYD batteries. But Toyota did say that they think BYD's batteries are not good enough. Weird, right? But then they want to use BYD's platform and their batteries. Anyhow, this new um, crossover SUV van, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, to me, it looks like a box. I'd call it a box electric car has been patented by Toyota. It's um, controversial. Some people think it looks like the future of Toyota driving. Um, very bland, very functional. Uh, some people think it looks like, um, I don't know, like a sad version of the future, a dystopian version of the future. The overwhelming popularity of SUVs means that automakers like Toyota are looking to borrow their rugged design cues to sell um, EVs, for example. Now, Toyota actually revealed this concept at the Japan Mobility Show in 2023, but um, we thought that was just a concept, and I thought, surely Toyota are not going to make this, right? Well, I was wrong. Toyota have patented this exact vehicle, and they plan to make this. So this is essentially Toyota's electric car of the future. When Toyota initially revealed this, it was one of the 21 electric concept vehicles that they revealed. So this is going to be electric, but we don't know for sure if there will be a hydrogen version as well. Now, considering Toyota believe the future of uh, the motor car, well, the future of transportation is powered by hydrogen and that by 2040 or the rest of the world will have figured that out as well. I would imagine they'd probably have a hydrogen version they're working on too. Now, of course, the fact that Toyota have actually filed this design with the patent office doesn't guarantee that Toyota will make this EV. But I'd suggest it's pretty damn likely because this is the only one of those 21 concepts that Toyota revealed that they've actually patented. So if they're going to make any of them, right, uh, you'd think the one that they patent is the one that they would manufacture. I believe this is Toyota's version of the future. And they're going to make this as an electric car. It's going to sell really badly. And Toyota will say, see, we told you no one wants EVs because it's not selling. That, I believe, is possibly going to be Toyota's strategy. Now, other car manufacturers have done this. BMW did this. They did this with the i3. BMW said back in 2021, no one wants EVs. We know they don't because no one's buying the i3. The sales were really poor. But the i3 was expensive, very, uh, very unusual car. Um, value for money proposition was really poor. So, of course, once good electric cars, good value for money electric cars came along, BMW, well, they admitted that they were wrong. But it looks to me, in my opinion, Toyota plan on replicating BMW's strategy. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.